So why have covered literally all sex scenes besides two? While I think we've all seen between Johnny and Ort, which is a part of the main story, but there is another one featuring Johnny, which is a semi-sex scene between Rogue and Johnny Silverhand. While I say Johnny Silverhand, well it's Johnny taking over your body, and today guys I will guide you into triggering this scene in game. How's it going my beautiful people, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out, and if you like what you see and want to see more of Cyberpunk on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So Rogue in this game isn't one of the four core romances, but a lot like Meredith Stout you can trigger a sex scene, although this one is a little more tame and well it's halted halfway through, but I will leave you guys to witness that when you do it yourselves because as you know I can't show such on my channel, but this is how you do it people. So doing the main campaign story guys, you will eventually get through four missions. These four missions once you complete them also trigger and auto complete a side mission called Tapeworm. The four missions of the main story you need to complete are Automatic Love, Transmission, Life During Wartime and Search and Destroy. After the prologue these are the 2nd, 8th, 11th and 15th mission. So it'll probably take you a long while if you're just starting so keep this in mind. Now at the end of these four missions you have to do, during them you will speak to Johnny Silverhand. There is no dialogue you have to specifically use, just make sure with every option there is, if there is any, what you pick is a friendly one as ultimately you want to befriend Johnny Silverhand. So doing this auto completes tape work and you will then unlock the next chapter of this side mission, Chain, which is Chipping In. Now this mission sees you and Rogue looking for Adam's smasher, which you ultimately do not find. But at the end of this mission you come across a guy called Grayson. This enemy you must not kill. He will give you Johnny's gun and car, so definitely don't kill him people. This is done by selecting the option or the dialogue option when it pops up of you got lucky when talking to Grayson at the end. You then get the keys to a container which contains Johnny's car. From here you take Johnny to his grave. And from here guys you need to befriend Johnny with dialogue. The dialogue options you can see on screen now me doing and what you should select for the right outcome. So that's how it is. Nothing here at all. What did you expect? Headstone, flag and flowers? No, I, I don't know. A marker, something, anything. We'll figure something out. Better now? A bit. But let's say it was my real grave. What would you write? Here lies Johnny Silverhand. Night City Legend. Sounds good, but what does it really mean? What did I achieve shouting chipping in to a bunch of angry pimply kids? Give those kids hope. The suits couldn't buy everything. I remember what I thought on stage, that even if they all died for their ideals, it'd be worth it. But when I look at you, listen, I realize I fucked up a lot of things. Either let down or used every last person who gave me their trust, blind, selfish bastard that I was. But I've managed one thing for now. Not to fuck this up, what we have. It's been a long, bumpy road, but we made it. Most people I thought were my friends. They couldn't even stand to be in the same room with me. You're fucking closest to me by a long shot. There, 24-7. And yet... You don't seem to hate my living guts. You were a real dickwipe at first. You sort of deserved it. Remember waking up at Victor's not knowing about me? I'm seeing things. I'm scared. 
been moaning at Misty's about how you didn't want to die. Remember you whining for smokes in the middle of the night? Complaining about not being able to kill me? Never thought we'd make it this far. When you said you let your friends down, did you mean Rogue? Rogue, Alt, Carry, Santiago. Not all's lost yet, at least with Rogue. Can't pretend nothing's changed over 50 years. Can't just insert myself into her life. Smasher Bits really got to her. You can't leave it like this. I don't think. Might be right. She was acting weird. You ought to talk to her. You know, did promise her I'd take her to the movies long, long ago. Good idea. Call her for me? Ask if she's free some night? Thing is, you'd have to surrender control. Again. Yeah. I'll call her. Okay. Let's Delta. Nothing to see here after all. Worth coming out all the same? Absolutely. Thanks, V. Of all the heads I could have popped up in, hella glad it was yours. So upon completing this mission you open up the next which is called Blistering Love. This consists of Johnny taking over to go on a date with Rogue. Here you need to drop a call to Rogue and head to the afterlife club between 5pm and 2am to pick her up. You then take her to the silver pixel cloud driving and here you basically set out to watch a movie within a parking lot and after you've just activated that projector you then return to Rogue. Now there are a few dialogue options you need to choose here too and these will be seen on screen and this ultimately leads to just making out before Rogue abruptly stops it. This also opens up another ending which features Rogue guys so get this done if you want to see that too eventually. But yeah guys I'll leave you to watch the dialogue options you need to select. Obviously I'll cut it before that romance happens but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like it really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more cyberpunk be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i'll see you on that next one have fun you crazy kids grabbed us the best one Hop on up. change this much. Let's pretend it's 2015, huh? We just met, and I got no idea what a bastard you are. Sure, lured you to the movies we could bang, by the way. <laughs> it's technically a possibility. Okay, so it's 2015. If you could do it all again, what would you change? Anything at all? I do everything in my power. Johnny, I... Hey, hey, hey. What's this? Nothing, it's just... I had a lot of time to think while you were away. What ifs and all. All that counts is I'm back. I think that's way better than any what if. But all we got's this one night. It's 
more than I ever could have asked for. Rogue, I'm here on borrowed time in a borrowed body, but I'm here.